What's up everyone? In this session, we will understand how to bind a text box with the help of database in Windows application using C Sharp. So in the earlier session, you had seen how to bind a combo box, right? We have a table city and all those cities have been loaded inside this combo box. See, I'm showing you the demo that we had seen earlier. So this is my Windows form application. I have this combo box and all those cities are fetched from the table tbl underscore city and all cities are being loaded over here, right? The same thing I need that the data is being shown inside this text box. Right now, I want to bind my text box with my database in Windows form application using c sharp.net, right? The thing is like that. Now, you will ask me this question that, um, that why? Why do we need this binding, right? Um, there might be requirement that uh, you need a static or not the static but dynamic, uh, you know, binding in your text box. Like whatever the uh, user comes in and log in and I need that name inside the text box or in label or any, anywhere else, right? Then at that particular time, you need, um, maybe you need a text box or maybe you need a label or something like that. And that's why we are using those control and how to bind those control with the help of our database. That's the thing. This is not only for the text box. I'm showing you the label also. So in general, I'm showing you the how to bind any control uh, with your database, database in Windows Form application. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, right now I have a code. Um, that is for combo box and uh, I'll make this SQL connection that we had uh, seen earlier. I'll, I'll cut it and I'll make it global. So right now I can use this con variable anywhere, right? Okay, so I have this uh, refresh data method and uh, let, me, let me create another method and that method name is show text box, show text box method let me resize our font uh, so this is my show text box method i'll make a alter enter to show me the option how to generate it so i'll generate that method show text method i'll remove this exception because this is not important and you can see my uh, database i have this database new database.mdf i have a table inside that i have a tbl underscore city and uh, um, all cities have been loaded inside this combo box now i want that you know um, one city has been loaded inside my uh, text box that I want, right? So how to bind my text box with this database in Windows Form application using C Sharp? That's the ultimate option, right? Okay. So um, I'll start with SQL command because that is the first step that we, uh, uh, you know, do for any uh, select query or whenever we bind something. Okay. So th these are the steps that we'll perform. But somehow after this fill method, uh, this data source and all other things are going to be changed for, you know, different controls or whatever control you are taking. So right now combo box have these three entries for text box. There might be another entries. So SQL command CMD one equals to new SQL command. And I'll say select star from TBL underscore city. This is my table name. I'll pass the con object, okay, and then I'll say SQL data adapter SDA equals to new SQL data adapter, and, I and I'll pass the CMD1, and then I'll take data table DT equals to new data table, and then and then after that I'll fill that table SDA dot fill, and I'll say DT. Uh, there might be uh, two DTs with the same name, so I'll change somehow. Well, th this will not create any problem, but for the sake of, you know, making a distinguish between DT and DT1. Okay. Um, okay. So after that, uh, the, you know, how to bind it. Right now we are having this combo box and the data source is coming from DT. That's the data table. But I cannot do uh, this, the same thing for my text box. You can see here, if I write text box one dot data source, there is no option for data source. So I cannot bind this, you know, uh, this text box with the help of data source because we don't have any option for that. So uh, 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 as we don't have any option, we have to make an alternative way for this, right? So we'll take if condition and I'll check my data table and how many rows are there. So I'll say dt1 
dot rows dt1 dot rows and then I will say count. So whatever the rows are there inside the data table it will count it and if it is greater than 0 then it passes inside the if condition okay and inside this if condition you know we will uh, we will bind our text box. So I will say here text box 1 dot text equals to dt dot dt1 dot rows and I will say which row. So I can pass here the index of my row here right. So I have two uh, I mean I have a two column ID and city and I have many rows okay whatever the data you had provided see here if I go to my tbl underscore city and I will say uh, show table data and then you will see there are two columns this is id and this is city and these are rows right so i have four rows and two columns so which city you want to show in the text box i can i can do that right so if i pass here let me let me pass uh, two so if i provide dt1 dot rows if i say two here then it will show me the specific entry of that two so this is going to be uh, two and then again I'll pass which column you want to show so how many columns I have I have two columns ID and city right see here I have ID and city these are the two columns and these are row I have I have selected this row two so it will show me this city this city this is going to be you know shown in the text box and which column I had taken city column so now this is matched right this is matched why because I had taken this city column and the row 2 so it will give me the entry of this city right okay so i will provide here city this is going to be my city and i will say dot to string so now we'll see that this city this city this specific city this can code is being loaded inside that text box or not let's check this out okay you see here so it shows here which entry was there in the second row it's it's this can code right so it, uh, oh, sorry this is oh let me let me see this or oh, let me close this and again if i go yeah so it is it loaded third uh, you know third row and why is that so is because um oh, let me let me let me put it in in that way so if i make a three here let me show how, what is the index of that yeah so this is this is going one apart so it is i think it is started from zero so let me take it as one so when i sh when i when i put one actually it is started from one but the index is starting from zero that's why the problem okay so if i if i say here one that means the the city this city is going to be loaded okay so one there means it is two here okay so this index is started from zero that's why we have to you know skip one but this index is started from one so that's why the city that is going to be loaded uh, right now is going to be this city this can code okay so when i run this application you will see can code is going to be loaded see okay so this is one this is two this is three so right now i had taken one because my index is going to be started from zero that's why i can code okay so now when i when i see if i if i want to show my last city i'll say three so when i make three and when I run this application, third it means this, this, okay, this shun code. So when I run this, you will see the same thing. This is my fourth here ID, but uh, uh, but inside the text box it is going to be third, okay. So uh, this is the way we can bind our control uh, with the help of database, with the help of AD.NET and Windows Form using C Sharp, right? This is the thing that, that you can that you can perform. Now let's say this is the example of text box. Now what if I have a label control uh, instead of this city in text box? So let me drag and drop one label control here. I have a label here. This is label three. So now let's say I want to bind the label control. So I simply say the same thing. I I, I can I can I can perform here. I'll say label three dot text. And then I'll say dt one dot rows, and I'll give the same index. Let me give the same index three, and you will see it will load it the city third, or it means the fourth city in from the database. So now when I run this application, 
you will see the same city in the text box and in the label you can see that okay so this is going to be the example uh, you know this this thing you can do whenever user log in their account and you want to show his dashboard and there you can there, there you can say welcome to uh, you know dashboard and uh, exclamation the name of the person who is logged in okay that you can show inside the label so that is going to be dynamic label right so we can perform this uh, you know the this activity uh, whenever you want to uh, whenever you have such requirement okay so that's why um, we had seen how to bind any text box or a label inside uh, um, uh, windows form application using c sharp and we are performing ad.net concept here i hope you understand it the uh, you know the, the simple application and uh, thank you so much for watching me and i hope uh, that you will i mean don't forget to subscribe my channel we will uh, sooner come with newer applications and newer technologies are going to be loaded inside the channel i hope you will be uh, fine with that and thank you so much for listening to me thank you